starting thing back up. Dink! Oh. And then I've changed the music once again to try and get some more chant, so if you're actually hearing it, hey, great. Adjust it to your, your volume. Because there's supposed to be a chanting going on, so that whole bollocks there. Grind for 15 minutes and DM. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Iesu Domine, Dona Eis Requiem. Now, <laughs> to answer your question about what the shit is in these alcoves, uh, starting from Alrighty. the one in front of you at the to the top of you, going clockwise, it goes do 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 a small mummified do, 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 do. a small mummified yellow hand with sharp claws uh, on a loop of rope. I'm sure some roll would have to do with this, but you would recognize it as a goblin's hand. Uh, to its right, a knife carved from a human bone. Next, a dagger with a rat skull set into the pommel. Wait, just a sec. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're writing them down. Yep. Oh, you're writing them down? Sweet. I don't have to keep doing it. <laughs> 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 All right. So after the after the human bone knife, human bone. Third is a dagger with a rat skull set into the pommel. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Okay. Uh, fourth, an eight-inch diameter varnished orb made of a Nothix eye. Nothix eye. Or okay. Fifth is, oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce this word. I'm gonna spell it. Spell it. I'm gonna spell it for you. You're gonna help me pronounce this. A S P E R G I L L U M. Asper. Aspergillum. 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 Uh, so in number five is an aspergillum. Carved from human bone, what is an aspergillum? It's a thing. A suitable answer. I don't know. I, I just pronounced it. Come. <laughs> uh, aspergillum. Oh, is it a soft G? It is a liturgical implement used to sprinkle holy water. It comes in two common forms, a brush that is dipped in the water and shaken, and a silver ball on a stick. Okay. Hmm. It's one of those. Oh, so the power of Christ compels you. Yeah. Mm. Kind of. <laughs> uh, number six is a folded... I do perk up at the Aspergillum. <laughs> <laughs> would, would, are you, would your character be interested in taking that? Because that seems like a very churchy thing to have. Uh, once once I figure out what all uh, once I get a better uh, beat on what all these items are, yes, right. that's something my character might try to pull. <laughs> uh, number six is a folded cloak made from stitched ghoul skin. That sounds cool. Yeah, yes. I would wear that on the on the regular. Number seven is a desiccated frog lashed to a stick. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, so some of the simple ones down. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat that. <laughs> okay. Number, oh, what am I on? Eight. Uh, number eight is a bag full of bat guano. Collect the whole set. <laughs> number nine <laughs> is a hag's severed finger. <laughs> That one's too easy. Yeah, one. I know. Number 10 is a six inch tall wooden figurine of a mummy, its arms crossed over its chest. Another mummy? Uh, this is the same mummy. So I would be. So when I was first reading it, I started at this one, which would be number 12, and then 11, and then 10. Whoops. Uh, so this is, this, this is the same mummy that I spoke of before. Uh, number 11. Oh, is there 13? I thought there were 12. What, what was this one? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dozen or so voices. He is the ancient, he is the land. 
relics used in these rituals. These worthless items. Oh, there are 13. That one there would have been 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That would be number 10. 1, 2, Spoiler 3, alert. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm sorry. That one that you were just pointing at is the 6 inch tall wooden figurine of a mummy with its arms crossed over its chest. Which I guess means this one back in the corner over here would be the Heg's severed finger. So then what is this one? So this one, uh, an iron pendant adorned with a devil's face. Iron maiden pendant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and next to it is Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, the next one along the that wall is the shrunken, is the shrunken head, head of the halfling, and then next to the doorway is the small wooden coffer containing a dire wolf's severed tongue. Is there any any imagery uh, along the walls um, aligned with these uh, tokens? It does not state any kind of extra extra bits on the walls, but it does okay, state and repeat that. The, that these are worthless items. These are stored in these 13 niches. If that helps. Repeat the chant for me. He is the ancient. He is the land. He is the ancient. Everybody say it at once. Let's make it weird. He is the ancient. He is the ancient. Ancient the land. He, he is, is the, the land. land. He is the ancient. He is the land. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's all you hear. Oh, oh we don't hear anything. Oh, so, so it's actually written that these are useless items. They didn't chant that. Correct. <laughs> these are useless items. <laughs> <laughs> Accept them as your words. <laughs> all right. The chant's like a Daft Punk song, or just loops over yeah. and over again. Around the world, the world. Yeah, he is the ancient, he is the land. Laser right, show so starts not... going off. Sorry, go ahead. So I'm not such a damned fool that I'm going to take anything out of these alcoves, and I'm saying this relatively quietly. But if we get a chance to come back through here, I'm taking that aspergillum. <laughs> And if we want it, huh, I may trade the orb for it. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> orb for an orb. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like a Indiana Jones, and you're gonna have one, and you'll whoosh, and you grab the other one. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, if you want it, I'll it right here. Along. Oh, sorry. What? But do if we you're... want to touch it right now? What's the worst that happens? <laughs> Uh, we, we start over. <laughs> I have the mindset if I die, I'm just going to reappear, so I'm not too cautious at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll make an agreement with you. Everybody prepare an attack. <laughs> if anything appears, <laughs> we strike the hell out of it. <laughs> No surprise round. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. So I'm actually going to pull out and attempt a swap maneuver for a useless item for a useless item for a useless item and swap the uh, focus orb for the aspergillum. Okay. Yeah, you gauge Don't that. Do that. What? Why? See what you're trying to do there. <laughs> what the f <laughs> <laughs> Was that you repeating? Who said that? Uh huh. The mimic one. Well, the only one that can speak via mimicry. No, which one of us? Uh, yeah. Which one of us said that? I see what you're doing. Oh, I said that. Last yeah, game. I said that in the uh, the tavern. Ah, oh, yeah. ah, that's hey, right. No, the old guy did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're doing there? Yeah. I gotcha. All right. 
Do you want me to start writing down who said it? No, nah. I. It's okay. fine. I, I I forgot about that. I apologize. I'm sorry that my memory <laughs> right, is no, not yeah. fucking perfect. I want a complete rebel codex of every available <laughs> phrase and where its origin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I put a little squiggly when you say something because it's got like an accent. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the respect. <laughs> so you are taking, what is it called? The Aspergellum. Aspergellum. Uh, yeah, you swap it out just fine. Useless item for useless item. You uh, you right click on the aspergillum and add to inventory. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and as sneaky stealthily as a 450 pound giant tortoise can move down this hallway. Fantastic. Uh, oh, you're going over there. Yes. What is that? That is 36. Uh, as if you take one more five foot step, if you would, please. It says this the prison! The cultists shackled prisoners to the back walls of alcoves here. The prisoners are long gone, their bones litter the floor, but the rusty shackles remain. <laughs> So there's there's nobody that I can see. There's not. It's just uh, there's a couple bones on the on the ground. You could probably hollow one out and make a flute. Um, or you could I don't know. You could shackle Chimoske up in in these shackles. I'm sure they still work. That would be an easy way to explain why he's no longer with the party. I mean, it'd be a dick thing to do. He'll come down here and he'll stand in. He'll stand in this alcove right I'll, there. I'll put him to sleep and put him in a really bad position with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mosque. What the <laughs> shit? Uh, anything further you would like to investigate in this area? Um, I'll just do a quick perception check for like hidden pathways because there's been quite a few of those lately. I would perception. like to comb through the bones. <laughs> you would like to what? Comb through the bones. Do you get like a pick out and you're like, like in uh, 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 st st oh shit, I've lost the joke. God damn it. <laughs> space no. balls. Space balls. There we go. You got a comb. Comb. Oh. Sorry, I'm interrupting Johnny. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I just got an 11 for checking for secret doors and passages. That does not cut it, sir. I apologize. So there's something here, guys, because I obviously failed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go look in the pool. Uh, you can only reach currently up to this right here. What's in front of me? Uh, 37. This tunnel is blocked by a rusty iron portcullis. The floor around the portcullis is submerged under two feet of murky water. Gross. Is the portcullis one that goes up? Like. I don't know. I would I would reference Arthur's intelligence at this point. I would assume it raises up. Well, I mean, a port. I mean, assuming that the mechanics are there, a portcullis would potentially go up. But it's entirely up to the GM whether this is a floor receding portcullis or a top-down portcullis. Mm. So it could be either way. Odds is up, evens it's down. Roll a dice. I mean, it could also potentially be sideways for all I know. <laughs> it goes up. From um, the floor? Yes. Yeah, so inside, if as soon as you get close enough to this, this portcullis, you can kind of peer through the bars. Uh, the rusty iron bars. 
you can see the the uh, the wooden wheel on the inside of the doorway half embedded on the east wall there. So I'm talking about specifically that right there. Um, could I possibly like mage hand it open? <clears throat> Um, Mage Hand only works up to 20 pounds, is that correct? 10 pounds, I think, or... You can move the hand up to 30 feet. The hand can't attack, activate magic items, or carry more than 10 pounds. I believe this is... I believe this, this would be considered too heavy. To um, turn the wheel? To turn the wheel or lift the gate. For a for a mage hand, specifically. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Could I use mage hand? Yeah. To get a rope, tie it around one of the pegs. Right, like Definitely. here. Yeah. And then tie that rope around here and then put it through the bars yes yay you do exactly that uh the mage hand know. which is oh and this is this describes so you summon the mage hand uh oh oops i lost you there for a moment i apologize uh which is a verbal and somatic so i'm sure you do one of these and then it ends in that what is the what being the <laughs> What are you, a Kenku, right? Being a Kenku, what is your yep. verbal? I gotta know. Mm. I would assume that somebody taught her to teach them the Mage-Hand cantrip. So she probably mimics what they say. Magic hand up here, up here. Uh, I don't know. I haven't... What can I do... I don't know. I'll say paranormal is weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one moment. There it is. Uh, you say exactly that. You perform whatever hand movement that you need. And the mage hand is summoned, but it is skeletal. Ooh. Yes. Weird. That's very weird. Is it still doing what I want it to do? It does exactly what you want it to do in skeletal oh. form. Weird. Okay, I'm holding the rope. Okay. Uh, you do exactly that. Uh, the mage hand appears, skeletal form. It comes around. It grabs a rope. It also ties it, I guess, in, in just its fingers. It wraps it around one of the loops of the, the wooden wheel. It then drags it back around underneath that... Uh, that pillar there, and then drags it back to you, hands it to you in in a wonderful, however, whatever kind of manners that a skeletal form has. Just like, here you go. <clears throat> be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Okay. <laughs> so I will... I'm assuming you guys have seen this. And I'm holding the rope, and I'm staring at you with my beak wide open. Thank you. <laughs> I grab the rope, and I pull it. Yes. I assist from behind. <laughs> I need a strength check. From everyone? From everyone, and then we're going to total the shit out of that. Is Choma Chomo oh. helping pull? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got, I got 23. Why'd you fuck up my dice? Yours was 17. No, it was 16. 16. I got 16. So 16 for me and an 18 for Chomo Chomo. Jesus. And you got a what? 18. 20. 20. 20. 20. Oh, you rolled a nat 20? Uh, Tone did. Uh, uh, Chomosuke rolled a natural 20. 
Oh, yes. Too beefy. <laughs> but he was in the back, too. So, obviously, it's like it's like when you're, like, you yeah, hand somebody a jar of pickles and you jo- you've already tried yeah. to loosen it. They get it. That, that It's that way. It's only It only got a natural 20 because everybody else helped. Uh, but you do exactly that. Uh, as you all pull, uh, the portcullis is raised... Uh, the wheel begins to move, the portcullis begins to lift, and the room is now accessible. Uh, Do I need to tie it off onto something? Or, like, if we, when we kind of let go, does it go back down? It does not. <laughs> okay, so it stays? It stays. It's far too rusty to move on its own accord. It would need somebody helping it. Okie dokie. And then I read you this. The Uh-oh. chanting that has been heard throughout this entire time suddenly Stop. stops. <laughs> I feel the music. Cue silence. Uh, the chanting suddenly stops as you peer into this 40-foot square room. The smooth masonry walls provide excellent acoustics. Featureless stone pillars support the ceiling and and a breach in the west wall, which I can't remember which direction that is, uh, leads into a dark cave heaped with refuse. This one? Yes, down yonder. Murky water covers most of the floor. Stairs lead up to a dry stone to, uh, excuse me, stairs lead up to to dry stone ledges that hung on, that hung, uh, god damn that hug the walls. In the middle of the room, more stairs rise to a form an octagonal dais that also rises above the water. Rusty chains with shackles dangle from the ceiling directly above the stone altar mounted on the dais. The altar is carved with hideous depictions of grasping ghouls and is stained with dry blood. Mm. Tag. I think this is where one of the sacrifices. The sacrifices? The sacrifices! I'm gonna have my giant skeleton mage hand give you the big middle finger. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it appears everyone is offended. <laughs> I did not know this hand gesture. <laughs> I think yes. <laughs> uh, what's on the. Uh... What is this? <laughs> That's the altar. That would be the altar. Take Hold it. on, I'll read it again. Uh, in the middle of the room, more stairs rise to form an octagonal dais that also mm-hmm. rises above the water. Uh, mm-hmm. Rusty chains. Uh, rusty chains with shackles dangle from the ceiling directly above the stone altar. <clears throat> mounted oh, okay. That's that is. Got it. So you're seeing those chains dangle down. Uh, Dostoth, he takes off in another direction. Oh, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I uh-huh. love how it just appears, just whoop, whoop. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I don't know, I'll walk up this and way. There's nothing in this room? <clears throat> uh, like the people chanting? There is currently nothing in this room. However, that wonderful chanting that was filling the halls has suddenly stopped because you entered into this fucking room. Mm-hmm. That is what you know thus far. Here we go. I don't think we should be here. I tend to agree. And yet here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Decisions must be made. Hmm? Should we touch the altar? I don't plan to. <clears throat> Y'all see anything? Uh, let's start checking the walls for there's a lot of hidden shit and murals and things around here. Where are you? You're over on that side. Give me, give me, everybody, just give me some fucking perceptions going on here. Okay, twelve. Ooh, perception. Thirty. Twenty-two. What? Twenty. <clears throat> Twenty-four. Uh, Dostoff? 12. 12. 
half, half of Maria's. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other two, you unfortunately did not. The other two, in fact, recognize. Oops, I'm on the. The one who can't screen. say anything. Wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> no, I said I can't say anything. Like, if I saw like a rat, I can't be like, rat. <laughs> right. You'd have to say something else. Uh, this secret door just appeared. You can see that there. <clears throat> Um, now is the hairy part, and I'll have my mage hand point the big skeletal hand right here. Oh, as if it's point like a like a a pointer like a dog, and it's like doing this oh, yeah. one right here. You see that right there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Please continue to explore. All right, I am going to cautiously head along the um, oh, side stone <clears throat> and then I'm going to step down and peek around into the cave. How far does the light on my mace that you gave me radiate? Like, does it light up the whole room? Uh, you'd have to look at the spell. Um, so this uh, one. As you peer into this, the cave bit. Uh, it's it's like uh, it looks like in Star Wars, where they're in the um, in the garbage chute. There's just a mound of crap. It's there's an old boot. There's some actual feces. Uh, there's a whole pile of just trash. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I assume that was like all the bones and stuff from the sacrifices. Bones, all sorts of gross items. The smell is putrid. Like wet trash on a hot day. <laughs> you get used to it. I mean... <laughs> We are hanging out with a bird, after all. I mean, it just doesn't sound great. Right. Right. Do birds think? Am I like pooping all over the place? Probably. <laughs> Leaving a trail. And pee. Mm. You don't pee. You just straight poop. Oh, okay. I would like to carefully scan the water for movement or shadows. Did you say this out loud, or you're just doing it? It's an uh, I'm just doing it. <laughs> oh, that's yours. Oh, I missed that part. Yay! You I go need back a nature get... check from you. Just Artie, or yes, Autumn. Autumn. Oh yeah, that would be a thirteen. Uh, you peer into the darkness that is <clears throat> that is this bit of cave and do not discern anything out of the ordinary. It just looks like bones and blood and boots and uh, whatever else I mentioned. Chains, all sorts of just trash. But it was an excellent attempt. You should change your name to Autumn in the settings if you can. And then you should change your name right here. Oh. That way it's a little easier, at least for me, to be like, because I always want to read your name and just say it. At the bottom? From... So you go to the settings, you know, the little cog wheel, and that says display name, and then you can just change your display name to your character name. Oh, I thought I had. Oh, I see. Out of character. Okay, never mind. Thank Fine. you. <laughs> hey, Bob Johnson. How Bob you Johnson. I haven't seen you in forever. I know. Here I am, beating people with shields.
Aw, uh, but I miss Milo. He was fun. Um, what is next? This is what you discern. Did you say something happened, or you weren't sure? Uh, nothing happened. Because okay. you did not roll high enough. Got it. Can I specifically check how fresh the poop is? <laughs> you give it the taste test. No! So I am going to... You know I'm a dwarf. I've got increased resilience. Yes, I do give it the taste test. <laughs> God, I wish my character could talk. Autumn over here is eating poop. Don't do that. <laughs> I see what you're doing over there. Don't do that. <laughs> well, this doesn't really describe exactly what would happen if you fuck with the cave first. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to move things along if you don't fucking mind. All right. Uh, Why on earth would anybody not deal with the cave first? I couldn't even. Exactly (laughs) what you did is exactly what I would do in this scenario. So I'm not sure. This this is what I was saying before. Like, the way this thing is designed is not the way I would have put it together. Uh, I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to that. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm going to go to this and I'm going to go to that. And then I'm going to read this. Um, you hear. I saw Goblin Man. <laughs> One must die. Uh, the chanting rises once more as, the thir- as 13 dark apparitions on the ledges overlook oh, the room. Each one resembles a black-robed figure holding a torch. But the torture's fire is black and seems to draw in light instead of putting it out. Uh, Where you'd expect to see faces are instead voids. And they say, one must die. They chant over and over again. One must die. One must die. Referencing the altar. Oh. One. This is why we have. What? No, no, no. Hold on. One must die. I'm going to have an image of myself go onto the altar and feign death. Hold on a moment. (laughs) Jason says I was not prepared for this. (laughs) No. No. Feigning death as an illusory uh, thing would would not produce blood, correct? Kind of uh, but it's the image, so there's fake blood. Fake blood that is not felt and could not seep into it on its own accord. Is that what you're telling oh. me? Yeah. Well, I mean, it could look like it's seeping into it. And what happens to this thing afterwards? I don't know. I think I think their thing's broken, but I can't say that. <laughs> Um, bing bong. (laughs) Who's your best friend? Bing bong, bing bong. Ah, the sacrifices. One must die. (laughs) They're gonna start saying it, and they'll be like, "Yo, hey, one must die." Yo, hey. But all they're doing is chanting? They are chanting, one must die, one must die. Um, are they actually, like, beings? Like, ghosts or whatever? Like, they're in there? Can I interact with one? I need a religion check. From Dostoth. 
Eight. I know not of your God. <laughs> Eight does not cut it. Um, you recognize these as... What did you say? What was, what was your initial question? Are they like, can I interact with them? Like, are they ghosts? Can I hit them? Yeah. Uh, so you would walk over to one of them and try to, like, knock on them? See if I can put my hand through it. <laughs> uh, you recognize that they are... They are also illusory apparitions. Oh. Hey, these are fake... <laughs> well, then what was the well then tell me what was the problem a fake uh, a fake sacrifice for fake cultists I don't know I was hired to deal with werewolves I'm not sure what we're doing here what if we don't actually need a death what if we just need the blood sounds like a plan I think yes Alright, you... So I will... I see what you're attempting to do there. I mean, I don't mind sacrificing a little bit myself. Do we want to do the dog? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just walk up to the altar. And I slip my hand a little bit and squeeze a little bit of blood on there. So you are standing <laughs> on the altar, you fool. <laughs> Why would you go onto the altar? <laughs> Move it along. So you are standing, you step up onto the altar, you hear the, the, the continued chant, one must die, one must die, emphasized. You slit your you hand walk. open, blood falls down onto the altar, it is soaked up into the altar, and the chanting continues, one must die, one must die. And a little bit's not enough, they want it all. All right, maybe it's just a matter of quantity. What if we all give a little bit? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Hold on a minute here, goddammit. <laughs> Call me suicidal. <laughs> um, Autumn. How much I... You want to get in on this? May I also have a religion check from you? Uh, that is a natural 20. Holy nice. shit. Well fucking done. Uh, you recognize that the the standing you, you you've seen this kind of jazz before. This is not this is not your first uh, first rodeo as it were. Uh, you recognize instantly that these apparitions uh, it was almost like a, it was almost like a tile trap where you stand on it and something happens. Once the altar was stepped upon and interacted with, the, the the apparitions appeared to instruct you to kill something on the altar. And you automatically know with your natural fucking 20 that if you move yourself from the altar without death occurring, the entire house is going to eat you alive. How would you possibly know that? With a natural 20. The house is doing one of these at the moment. We're dealing with a warehouse here. <laughs> <laughs> well, god damn it. Literally, god damn it. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. <laughs> saloon damn it, saloon damn it. So is the water actually stomach acid? It is not. It is just murky. Swamp-like and stinks. Rebel, do, do, do you see any small creatures anywhere? One must die. One must die. One must die. Do I see any small creatures? Any rats or anything? God damn you guys. <laughs> We'll see if my uh, mage hand can pick up any like little fish or something out of the water. <laughs> uh, give me a nature check, because I'm. It doesn't actually say anything about that. 
All of us or just Rebel? Uh, just Rebel. Nine. No! You sift through the waters. You come up empty-handed. You are now moist. I'm gonna tell... No, I can't tell Trump. Trump. Yeah, uh... you gotta you gotta relay it in... Uh, it's like that episode mm-hmm. of Star Trek where they were... They only spoke in metaphors. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll look at Chom, Chom, the dog. Yeah. And say, one must die. I think yes. Now is the hairy part. <laughs> mm. <laughs> now is the hairy part. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, my friend, go ahead. You know what? Let's say it again. Now, my friend, go ahead. Are you speaking to Chomo Chomo? Yeah, the dog. The dog. The dog who obviously loves and admires you and is so thankful. Takes a step forward. Oops, I'm on the wrong thing. Takes a step forward. I'm not telling it to die. I'm telling it to find a rat or something. Oh, that's what you want? It takes another step forward thinking that you that's what you wanted. How did you convey it again? Oh, no. Uh, One more time. Uh, How- don't do that. I see what you're attempting to do there. Oh, yes. He turns around. Thank God for that. <laughs> A good present goes a long way. <laughs> Presents. Oh, yes. He's going to go find you a, a, a thing. Hold on. How do I... Can I do... Can I do this? Where's the goddamn... Where's his... Would somebody what? give me Chomo Chomo? Uh, give Chomo Chomo some sort of uh, uh, check uh, in uh, uh, sur- whatever survival is under. Oh. Uh, oh, are you rolling? Oh, uh, what are you doing? Hold on. Survival in everything's a zero. So it would just be a straight check. Can you can you at least? Well, I don't. I don't know if it's supposed to be. I, here's what I want you to do. You I want you to. Him. I want you to tell me, Jason. I rolled above a ten. Uh, can I just roll? Where do you just like roll a twenty? What are you it's doing? Die thing roll. over on the left hand side. One two fourth but or fifth button down. It, yeah, Where? it's different on my side. There's a there's a polyhedron on the left hand side of your screen, and if oh. you hover over that. Got it. Uh, D20? Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> I hate right. these dice. I yeah. want my real dice. Roll a real dice. I don't think it'll do any better. Eight. Still not above ten anyway. Lame. Oh! Hold on here. Hold Damn on. it. Can I... Can I give him bardic inspiration? Yes. Yes, you may. Okay. Let's see. It's a d6, right? Yeah. That puts it at 10. It does? Yeah. Oh. Eight plus 2 is 10. Perfect. <laughs> Choma Chomo, this wonderful dog, comes crawling back to you, drops something at your feet... Dink. It's gonna look kind of weird, but it is in fact a rat. The fuck is that? It is not dead. It is writhing. Is it alive? It is alive. Ooh. It is still living. It drops it at I'm your gonna feet. Mage over. I'm gonna mage hand it over to to Dosta. The skeletal yes. hand. Toss the rat here, my feathered friend. What is it? Say it again. You have eight. Uh, I said, toss the rat here, my feathered friend. Yes. <laughs> toss <laughs> toss the rat. It's like an Olympic game. Yeah. Toss the rat. <laughs> no, it's just going to be right in the center. You you can pick at it if you want, but it's just there. So the skeletal hand reaches out, grabs it by the tail, moves it over, yeah. over the dais, but does not place it on the dais. I will reach out, grab it. 
Uh, put it on the altar and then chop it with a hand axe. Oh, come on. Your hand axe doesn't even have a flamberge. There we what? go. Hand axe. <laughs> You, uh, sorry, you say, say, do it, say what, uh, what did you say one more time? So I reach out, grab the rat. Yeah. Put it on the altar. Put your style, chop. <laughs> the hand axe. Fantastic. Bink. With a sarcastic, we might die. <laughs> we might die. Booper de Beppo. Booper de Beppo. So there is now a uh, dead rat. It expires on uh, on the dais. The death house. Sorry, the Durst Manor. I apologize. The Durst Manor harbors no ill will toward the party willing to sacrifice a life to appease the cults. <laughs> Once the sacrifice is made, the characters are ready to go, are allowed to go free. Did we just join a cult? You did. Congratulations. I never, I never turned down an opportunity to strike down a monster. We performed a blood sacrifice. That is a new one for me. Apparently the gods of this particular house have very, very low standards. Yes. <laughs> it... <laughs> Um, what the hell was with those shades earlier if a rat sacrifices their sacrificial needs? <laughs> well, I was really kind of hoping that you guys would not sacrifice something and somebody would leave the dais. Uh, in which case, every creature that's down there that I passed by was going to emerge and try to kill you as you run from the house. But that did not occur. Nice. I could still have them come out of the woodwork if you'd like. We're like this motherfucker. Yeah, so we're free to leave. Oh, uh, congratulations and welcome to the cult. And they all disappear. Um, you recognize instantly that the thing in the uh, the thing that uh, that lives in the in the cave at the bottom. He, he's gonna he's gonna go ahead and just come out right now and he's gonna be all like oh thank you so much for the sacrifice i love you everything you do is right and i love you so much and you're the best and you're the best dog and you're the best what is it it's a shambling mound uh this is actually this is walter the baby Uh, what does that mean? The Ooh. Durst, the Durst child oh. that was born of the the father oh. and the nursemaid uh, was sacrificed on the altar and has been deformed uh, and transformed into this shambling mound, which had a lot of hit points. If you'd like to fight it anyway. Just out of curiosity, do you think a uh, remove curse scroll would do anything to it? Oh, I bet you it would. I bet you it would be thankful. Would you like to utilize your? Can I use my scroll of remove curse? Sorry, sorry say it again. Oh, no, go ahead. I'll use my scroll of remove curse on it. Well. I would recognize it and figure out that that was the baby, but uh, would I roll for something like that? Um, just use the scroll. Okay. Use the scroll. Wow, this thing is not helpful. I see you playing with your hair. <laughs> It's, yes, sorry, hold on. We're going to just do that. And we're instead <laughs> going to do that. Yay! <laughs> you now have a dog and a baby. Uh, 
We were sent to find you. I go 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 boo boo. Any way to sanctify this place? It's creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should burn this motherfucker down. I think that's a wise idea. Why wouldn't you just set it on fire? Exactly. I I can't change anything. I'm inclined to agree. Now, my friend, go ho go ahead and torch it. With you in the basement? I'm gonna leave first. <laughs> yeah, the one thing I can't help but notice there has not been a single sign of the werewolves we were sent here to take care of. No, I'm I'm supposed to hunt the werewolf. I'm I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Choma Choma, are you a werewolf? <laughs> uh, Choma Chomo is going to reveal himself instead. Choma Chomo, bank. Sorry, give me a minute. I am so confused right now. <laughs> Shomo Chomo. Oh, it doesn't actually. All right. Uh... Sorry, hold on one moment. I was not prepared for any of this. <laughs> Did we loophole the game? You loophole the game. You broke it. Choma Chomo instead uh, turns into a gentleman. Uh, that's not entirely what he looks like. You can probably zoom in there and see it. But he turns into a gentleman. And he says, oh, 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 I'm so glad that you found your way out. Now I'll have a chance to play with my food. Blah. And then he also goes away. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. He does one of those. Wait, we... I knew we should have sacrificed the dog. <laughs> uh, but on that note, you are free. You are you are free to go. And uh... is it a living baby or a spectral baby? Well, he's alive now. Would you like or to keep the baby? Not there? Would you like to keep the baby? I didn't. I couldn't figure out how to uh, how to make it. I'll stick um... it in my satchel. Perfect. Right click on the baby and add to inventory. <laughs> right, I'm certainly not going to leave the baby here in a two foot puddle of murky water on a de on a death <laughs> day. <still> <laughs> um, that was fairly anticlimactic. Do I want to steal any more of the reliquary items? You are welcome to. Take them all. Uh, as I'm walking through the stairs, I'm just going to be oh. randomly hitting finger knives. Sight, stupid fucking house. I hate this house. Yeah, you kick the fucking house. I would house. like to take. Um, also, you, uh, upon killing something on the altar, you also gained third level, by the way. Everybody levels up. <laughs> How do you do that? Um, I would actually like to grab the hag finger. The Iron Devil Pendant. Okay. Uh, this one. Uh, I can. Huh. The Rat Pommel. You don't want to just take Devil. it all? It sounds like you do. I really don't. <laughs> um, the Ghoul Cloak. Oh, yeah, that thing's gross. The frog stick. Which you... What did it say? Uh, you don't... Re you recognize it as just a frog on a stick, but somebody less uh, intelligent might confuse it for a wand of polymorph, if that helps you. And the human bone knife. Bone knife it is. Meow. I will leave the dire wolf tongue, the shrunken head, the six inch mummy, and the goblin hand. Um, um, Dostoff, you also had a, what is it called? Um, you got a suit of armor, right? Uh, 
That's different. Oh, yeah, 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 I grabbed those. You got a suit of armor, and you got a long sword. Mm -hmm. And Chamosuke, who's not here to experience this, also grabbed a bunch of silverware, some of the crystal silverware. Uh, Pop <laughs> well, all of that. I would like to tell oh, you. I think we're focused. I'm taking that back. <laughs> oh, you're taking both. Okay. Um. Uh oh. There we go. No, we got this. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, it's not doing what I wanted to do. Uh, as you climb back up the stairs, you find yourselves in the in the house, and then back out on the road. Um, as you leave the house. The silverware, which unfortunately, uh, Tone's not here to hear. So the silverware tarnishes instantly. What does it say? The longsword rusts. I know that much. Balcony, master suite, conservatory, secret room, servant's kitchen. No, main hall. Dining room. The silverware tarnishes, the crystal cracks, and the portrait fades from the tapestry if removed from the house. Uh, this also occurs for the longsword that you got. It now rusts and is absolutely useless. The armor that you removed from the house is also useless. It does not, however, say any of these things about this, this room with all these relics. Uh, so your... The human bone... What else did you take? You took a bunch of shit. The Aspergillum. Basically everything I took from the uh, useless uh, the useless item room. <laughs> the useless the useless items remain useless and uh, remain in your inventory. <laughs> uh, the rest of the crap that you guys took out of the house disintegrates to a, a useless state. And we're back out on the road. Matter of fact. Well, that was a huge waste of time. And yeah, I was... At Philly, at Spiritus Sanctus, Ch uh, Chamusque? Torch it. Oh, he's gonna <laughs> love that shit. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no. Where is... Oh, it's not even gonna tell me. Oh, 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 my thing stopped. Oh, God. There we go. Death House. That one. Yeah, that one. So this wonderful thing. Bleep. Uh, goes up in flames. You stand on the on the outer side of, of this household. Chamosuke, he's like, ah, oh, I got this shit. And he's gonna just... I wish he was here. I wish he was here so he could feel the enjoyment. Of torching this fucking Did anyone house. find a deed for this thing? Say it again. Did anyone find a deed for this thing? No. <laughs> I never. I don't plan to return here ever, so no. Uh, it was just so that we could throw it in the fire with everything else. <laughs> yeah, I'd throw in the long sword and the armor away. Um, question, though. Meta question. Um, because... Tone would probably love to light this fucker up. We could pause here. It's been about three hours. That's a good amount of time. And you are third level. You did achieve that milestone. Do you want to pause here, or do we want to make it into the town? 